to come together to worship you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. We want to greet all of you in Jesus' name. Yes. Those who are here, those who are on Zoom, and those who are watching this video, may God bless you yes. as we worship the Lord together in unity. Amen. I pray that he will strengthen you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And that's our sister Banfi to pray God's blessing on today's service. Amen. Thank you, Father. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks and praise for your goodness and your love and your mercies towards us. We thank you, O oh Lord, for bringing us here safely. We thank you for all that is watching this evening's procedures, O oh God. We bless you, Father and Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. We pray, O oh God, for your Holy Spirit to hover over this place. Mm -hmm. That whatever is said, whatever is done to, tonight, will be done to the honor and glory of your holy name. And we will all be blessed. Bless, Lord, the one that is bringing the word to us today. Mm -hmm. And downloading him, O oh Heavenly Father, in a marvelous way, what is needed for us. In the name of Jesus, the thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 We give you thanks, Lord. Hallelujah. We worship the Lord tonight. We're going to worship God in this song. We'll make the darkness light before thee. We encourage you to get involved and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. With us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, O oh Lord. I will make the darkness light before thee. What is wrong? I'll make it right before thee. All the battles I will fight before thee. And the high place I'll bring down.
your promises. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Towards his children. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. He's a good, good father. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. On the fattest of the land, I'll feed thee. So on the mansion yes. in the sky, I'll leave thee. And the high place, I'll bring down. Hallelujah. Promises. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Father. promises are true. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it's because of your love. Yes. Hallelujah. Your amazing love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father.
taken from the book of Proverbs, Proverbs 22, verse 1 to 6, and also Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 12 to 18. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and love and favor rather than silver and gold. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. But by humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Thorns and snares are in the way of the forward. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Ezekiel 14, 12 to 18. The word of the Lord came again to me saying, Son of man, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it. I will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast. Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they should deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. If I cause noisome beasts to pass through the land, and they spoil it, so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beasts, though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters. They only shall be delivered, but the land shall be desolate. Or if I bring a sword upon that land and say, Sword, go through the land so that I cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men were in it, as I live, saith the Lord God, they shall deliver neither sons nor daughters, but they only shall be delivered themselves. Here end of the lesson for this evening. Bless the name of the Lord. You may be seated. Praise the name of the Lord. This time we're going to have a song administered by our pastors, Anthony and Sylvia Grace. May God bless them and bless you for this song. Amen. We bless, bless you, you in the name of the Lord. Lord. We're going to try to do this song for you. Empty me of self.
servant of God comes to minister the word, I pray that you will be blessed to this word. I minister to whatever situation you're facing, that God will minister to you in a special way. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you ready to discuss succession tonight? Succession. We will get back to the lesson. But in that. So what is this succession? And you would notice that in the spelling of succession, I don't know why I'm noticing spelling so I know where they came. Beginning to learn all over again. There's success. The word success is in succession. And then ion. I <laughs> know. Ion success. Anybody wants to say? Amen. 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 Oh, bless the Lord. Hallelujah. And what is success? I remember telling you once the progressive realization, what the words into big, of predetermined, worthwhile. Goals. Winning a lotto is not success. When you have a goal, a worthwhile goal, predetermined, thought about it, prayed about it, and you're working towards it, and you achieve it. And it also says, progressive realization. In other words, in stages. Sometimes when you get a vast amount that you haven't planned for. I don't have to say anymore. Some people can save it. Others can't. But succession is like the rights of a child or adopted heir to the tangible or intangible property of his father on the father's death. Or one's heritage, especially the land given to Israel by the Lord as a permanent heritage, as in various scriptures. Or the rights in one's father's estate beyond enjoyed under Roman law the inside the right of birth. And there are passages in the Old Testament and New Testament that speak about inheritance. And I'd like to tell you all what brought this about. In my meditation, I was hearing in my spirit that many of us don't know the purpose we are here for. And some of us don't stop loud enough, and I'm not trying to preach loud, I'm trying to outdo the rain. Bless the Lord. And some of us don't understand that we who are the parents now were once the children. That's it. And the grandparents then, the grandparents today were the parents then. And sometimes we behave as though it all ends with us. And we seem not to think about the generation, succession, who succeeds who. And in my meditation, I saw in my spirit 
some well-known businesses that work in this country. Started by the owners who had children. And on the death of the parents, it seemed as though it was the death of the business. I ain't calling the name of a business. You all may have tried to trap me, but you're not going to do it. Well known businesses, highly respected in Barbados and out of Barbados. But because there were no proper succession plans on the death of the person who started the business, the business died. And I, I, while I was going to throw the, all this on my bed and meditating, I could almost visualize some persons that I have known in communities who never made it home with what they earned. They had to stop by a place with friends to dispose of much of what they had before they could get home. And sometimes they didn't know when they got home. You can't get me in court for that. They had to be supported on the way home. And some of those persons earn more than others who went home with the little that they earned and who had gone and in the interest of their children and grandchildren put themselves so to speak in debt to get something that they might not live to enjoy but their children would live to enjoy. And I want to be very serious about this because I was very, it was given to me in a very serious way. Mm -hmm. We've got to stop playing around mm -hmm. and get serious. Yes. Amen. There's a word in Proverbs, I believe it is, 13, 22, which says, A good man, am I right? A good man, you got it? Proverbs 13, 22. It says here, a good man uh -huh. leaves an inheritance. A good man leaves an inheritance for, for children's, children's children. children. But, but a sinner's wealth uh -huh. is torn up for the righteous. Right. Okay. There again, you have, you have a choice to make. Yes. I've heard people say, Then, then, then they don't have bread for themselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Meaning that the children should get responsible. Mm -hmm. But a good man okay. or a good individual mm -hmm. leaves an inheritance mm -hmm. for the children's children. Mm -hmm. And we need to do some introspection again. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? Are we making decisions now for now? Or are we making decisions now for even the future? That's the big question. Many could have been much further in their development had they taken into account the future and their children and their children's children. So this word comes to parents as well as children, huh? Yes. Yes. Hmm. And as I went on to study this, I said, you know something? You may not have much of an impact or influence on the people in your community, mm -hmm. but at least you should have it on your children. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. At least you should have it on your children. Mm -hmm. So 
don't want to look at it in a little closer light. And in that lesson that was read, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. Here you are imagining a parent speaking to children and telling them that a good name. Are you with me? Yes. A good name is to be chosen. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. And somebody would say, this, this girl song too, you know. <laughs> but if you have never been rich, you would never know the desperation and the difficulties that rich people have. Yes. Huh. So you sit from your ivory tower, whatever that is, and assume that riches is the way to go. Regardless of how you get it. Right. And loving favor. So you're talking to your children now. And loving favor rather than silver and gold. Mm. Say, but, 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 but how could that be true? Yeah. Silver and gold is worth so much according mm. to the world. Yes. 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 But I have reminded you all in this congregation before and those on Zoom. That if you have all the silver and gold and you don't have health. Yes, sir. Huh? And you don't have the favor of God, you're still in trouble. That's right. That's right. But if you have loving favor and you don't even have silver and gold, you will get through. You know. Amen. All right. The rich and poor meet together. The Lord is the maker of them all. No man, the rich make themselves. <laughs> and the poor decide that we take ourselves too. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hide it himself but the simple pass on and are punished you know then you think come with into this you hear trouble down the road mm. you may even be warned about it yes but you say no what can do me that man mm. uh -huh. yes sir. and you go down the road like an idiot mm -hmm. how prudent are you yeah a prudent man foreseeth the evil and yeah. hideth himself. You see me and in that book. But the simple pass on and are punished. Sometimes yes. they don't even know they get punished. Yeah. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches. Somebody say something wrong with this. This guy be right. Yes, right. The way of the world, you see, it all depends on which way you're looking. Huh? That's true. By humility and the fear of the Lord are riches and honor and life. Anybody believe it? Any witnesses in here? Yes. Yes. And I think I had look for some Jehovah's yes. Witnesses. No. Are you getting no witnesses here? Yes. Thorns and snares are in the way of the flowers. He that doth keep his soul shall be far from them. We have been talking a lot about the soul, mm -hmm. you know, the mind, the will, and the emotions. Mm -hmm. and this is the one. Yes. Train up a child mm -hmm. in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not yeah. depart from it. Yeah. Now, you know, you will get a little argument inside there, so I put an ask the yeah, elder to read a note on that. Yeah. It is a serious note on that one. There's two for that. Go ahead, read it. In the way he should go is literally according to his child's will. It is natural to want to bring up our children alike or train them the same way. This verse implies that parents should discern the individuality and special strengths that God has given each one. While we should not condone or exclude self will, each child has natural inclinations that parents can develop. By talking to teachers, other parents, and grandparents, we can better discern and develop the individual capabilities of each child. Hold there. You can discern the individual capabilities of each child. Mm -hmm. This means there got to be some form of communication. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Right? Yeah, man. Yes. Yeah, man. Right. And mom must be embarrassed to even think about it. Sometimes you don't even ask the children how you get through today. Yes. 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 You 
can say out oh, says all right. Huh? And the communication sometimes is so aggressive. That it brings out the worst in the children. Lord have mercy. But some of us can't remember who we are. And that sooner or later we're going to be in a box. And the children have to take over. We think we can live forever. Hmm? Go ahead. Each child is different. And the child and you may not see eye to eye. Look, confession is good for the soul. I remember at one time, I don't know if I've told you all this or I hope I haven't. But I had a situation in which I was telling a child, one of our children, to say thanks. To say thanks. That particular child was so stubborn that the child decided, I ain't saying it. How old the child was, Mother Green? Two. And to show you how you have to be careful with the way of your thinking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> this is a child that had extraordinary ability. Mm -hmm. And so I didn't think that. The child should get away with it. And it was my determination and my folly that that child would say thanks. Even if I had to beat thanks into the child. Thank God I didn't have a foolish wife. And my wife said to me, Tony boy, this child can put you in trouble. Leave her. I had to humble myself and leave her. Although I thought I was doing the wrong thing. And would you believe that next morning the first word out of that child's mouth was thanks? It was as though the child was saying, kill me. Mm -hmm. And a big, a big fool tried to beat the child to say thanks. Mm -hmm. And perhaps I won't be able to preach now and make be dead and gone after being in prison. Train up a child in the way he should go. Not rough up a child. Try to understand the child. Because the child has his or her own thinking. Many parents want to make all the choices for their child. But this hurts him or her in the long run. When parents teach a child how to make decisions, they don't have to watch every step he or she takes. Mm -hmm. They know their children will remain on the right path because they have made the choice themselves. Yeah. Train your children to choose the right path. Amen. Amen. And there is another note that says, I remember reading it, that it is a general statement that is being made that some will depart from it regardless of what you say or what yes. you do. Yeah. 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 There's another note to that effect. So you can't argue and say, well, that could be true. Mm -hmm. And look at this one. The word of the Lord, this is still in um, the lesson. You haven't left the lesson yet. The word of the Lord came again to me saying, Son of mine, when the land sinneth against me by trespassing grievously, then will I stretch out my hand upon it, and will break the staff of the bread thereof, and will send famine upon it, and will cut off man and beast from it. Though these three men know Daniel and Job were in it, they shall deliver but their own souls by their righteousness, saith the Lord God. So the flip side of that, 
The flip side of that is this, that although, bless the Lord, I get back there. But somebody did, somebody will help me. Although a child or children will do the wrong things and provoke you, still it is up to you Mm -hmm. to use discretion yes. and to know that you are the parent mm -hmm. and a parent suggests that you should be responsible that's mm -hmm. right. um, amen? That's amen. right amen so we are challenged tonight yeah. we are challenged tonight with a serious word yeah. mm -hmm. and you have to go back to word Very serious. Yeah. Right? to word Very serious. bless the lord hallelujah yeah. so what i'm trying to tell you Brethren, is this that we have got to be very, very careful yeah. how we make decisions. Mm -hmm. Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Bless the Lord. You were you were reading something else there. It, it is more here for the real we are Ezekiel fourteen fourteen. You know what Daniel and Job? Yeah. Yes. The judgment coming upon Jerusalem was so certain that even these three men of God, known for their righteousness, could not deliver anyone by their prayers of intercession. What that is saying is, thank you, Lord. What that is saying is that you and I, even by our lifestyle, yes. even when we have accepted Christ as Lord and Savior, our children cannot depend on our salvation. Our salvation cannot depend. It, it is an individual thing. Amen. I say it is an individual thing. So I want it to be clear that when the word mentions, thank you. When the word mentions no, uh, Daniel and Joe, you call them power powerhouses. Yes. Their children could not be saved by their righteousness. Oh, no. could not. And it goes on to say, and if I bring a sword and all the other things, they're not going into that. 16 or 4. Right? 16 or 16. Go ahead. 16 says, Deliver neither sons or daughters. Judah, Mara, claimed had become so sinful that the righteous prayers of Noah, Daniel, and Job would not be sufficient to save even their own children. Believers must be very careful about the social and educational environment Correct. in which they place their children. Yeah. It may become so ungodly that neither our righteous living nor our fervent prayers will be enough to bring them to accept Christ mm. as their Lord mm. and Savior. Mm. So very yeah. true. Yeah. So, true. so very, very, very true. But before we uh, run off to the wrong thing, mm -hmm. one thing that came very clear to me is that God sends his reign on just and the unjust. And God provides food, whether it be mangoes, breadfruit, fish, whatever, for everybody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what is absolutely clear as a responsibility is that as a parent or as an adult, mm -hmm. we have to pass on knowledge mm -hmm. and experiences mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. our children. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Correct. Right. Now in this society, as you all know, mm -hmm. you hear about Persons taking others to court yeah. to get rights for the children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the children will be told by their mother, mm -hmm. usually it's their mother, mm -hmm. your father, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. these few cents, whatever. <laughs> But even if the father is asked to put a huge amount of money towards their child, that cannot satisfy the child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. You all say no. Yes. 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 The child is looking for something more yes. than food yes. and clothes. Yes. The child is looking for support. Yes. Psychological support. Yes. Someone that they can turn to when they have a problem or ask a question. Somebody that could turn to the child and say, uh, son or daughter, don't mind. Don't mind. Mm -hmm. Daddy passed there too. Mm -hmm. You will get over it. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. Emptiness of yes. self. Yes. 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 Self is destroying us. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 It is about me. Yes. Yes. And what you want. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. You have no consideration Absolutely. for my children. And in Genesis 25, 31, the role of, of the birthright mm -hmm. was spelled up there clearly. Mm -hmm. You got that one handy? Yes. A birthright was a special honor given to the firstborn son. It included a double portion of the family's inheritance along with the honor of one day becoming the family's leader. The oldest son could sell his birthright or give it away if he choose. But in so doing, he would lose both material goods and his leadership position. By trading his birthright, he saw showed complete disregard for the spiritual blessings that would have come his way if he had kept it. In effect, he saw the spice his birthright. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, you said to a child, I can either give you a million dollars or I can give you a hundred thousand with instructions how to live for the rest of your life. You don't gotta ask me what the child is. They want a million dollars. But if you ever get so foolish as to choose, I say foolish, yeah. as to choose the hundred thousand yeah. with instructions on how to live, yeah. that person might become a billionaire. Yeah, that's that's right. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. But we, you see, yeah. Yeah. I think you, you can imagine the rest. And then by servants whose masters were childish, to show you how much God really, you know, cares about his people mm -hmm. and how much God looks at it. Even that is a is you know, fair yeah. Elijah was Elijah was Abraham's most trusted servant. Elijah. Elijah. Go ahead. Was Abraham's most trusted servant. Acting as the household administrator. That says the chief servant. According to custom, if Abraham were to die before a son, his eldest servant would become his heir. Although Abraham loved his servant, he wanted a son to carry on the family line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So not even that was ignored. Mm, that's right. You see, look, look, sometimes they get a little, you know. Mm. The word of God has got so much in it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That I don't I am I'm, I'm puzzled how somebody could say that it is irrelevant. The Bible is irrelevant. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 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 And then there was a condition also for widows with no children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's in 77. Genesis 38, 8 to 10. But 70, uh, 77 is. Yes, it says here this law about marrying a widow in the family is explained. We have to go around in the scripture. Its purpose was to ensure that a childless widow would have a son who will receive her late husband's inheritance mm. and who in turn would care for would care for her because Judah's son to Mary's husband had no children there was no family line through which the inheritance 
and the blessings of the covenant could continue. God killed Onan because he refused to fulfill his obligation to his brother and Tamara. No, no, no. <laughs> you leave it right there. The daughters of Zelophehad, the Zelophehad, when it was time for the land to be divided up, these daughters went and asked Moses, "What's going on here?" Huh? It's a note on 264. To show you, and Moses had to go back to God and say, "But God, these girls approached me." Huh? The law says so and so about the males and this and that, but what about us? The Lord said, the right, you know. <laughs> and they got through. Up to this point, the Hebrew law gives sons alone the right to inherit. Mm -hmm. The daughters of Zachariah had no brothers. Came to Moses to ask for their father's possessions. God told Moses that if a man died without sons, his inheritance would go to his daughters. Mm -hmm. But the daughters could keep it only if they are married within their own tribe. Mm -hmm. Probably so the territorial lines will remain intact. Amen. Amen. Showing you that God is not sleeping mm -hmm. and God was interested in the females. Mm -hmm. So when the whole of the world now awoke mm -hmm. to the fact that females should be given equal rights. Yeah. Long time ago, in the Bible, yeah. the women were given the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I say no more on that either. Amen. And then Reuben lost most. He was one of... Uh, Mm. One of his sons. Mm. Uh, uh, this is a terrible one. Mm. 72. Genesis 35, 22. Mm. Because he went up to his father's bed. One of his father's wives. Mm. Yeah. 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 Because of that, he lost his yeah. Yeah. significant part of his, of his inheritance. Look, this thing is serious here. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, I'm moving on. You don't want to read it. No. Well, if you can, read it quickly. Ruben's sin was costly, although not regular. As the oldest son, he stood to receive a double portion of the family's inheritance and a place of leadership among his people. <coughs> Ruben may, may have thought he had gotten away with his sin. Yes, go ahead. No more is mentioned of it until Jacob on his deathbed, yeah. <laughs> assembled his family for the final blessing. Okay. Suddenly, Jacob took away Reuben's double portion yeah. and gave it to someone else. Yeah. The reason you went up onto your father's bed, yeah. onto my couch, and you find it. So sometimes you think you get away with things, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Same consequences can plague us long yeah. after the sin is committed. Yeah. When we do something wrong, we may think yeah. we can escape or notice. Yeah. Only to discover later yeah. that the sin has been greatly breeding serious consequences. Here's another interesting one. We cannot inherit a relationship with God. No. Hmm? No. It ain't anything you can inherit. No. No. Genesis no. 28, 10 to 15. Mm. There's a note there on 58. And Luke 3, 8, there's a note on 18, 22. Mm. This is a very important one. Mm. But sometimes we feel that we are God's pet. Mm. 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 <laughs> God's covenant promise to Abraham and Isaac was offered to Jacob as well. Mm -hmm. But it was not enough to be Abraham's grandson. Mm -hmm. God had to establish his own personal relationship. Okay. Sorry. Jacob mm -hmm. had to establish his own personal relationship 
with God. Mm -hmm. God has no grandchildren. <laughs> Each person must have a personal relationship with him. It is not enough to hear wonderful stories about Christians in your family. You need to become part of the story yourself. Amen. 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 <laughs> Look for it. Uh, brethren, this thing is serious here. Yeah? Look for it. Yeah. Many of John hearers were shocked when he said that being Abraham's descendant was not enough to ensure salvation. Mm -hmm. The religious leaders relied more on their family lines yeah, than on their faith for their standing with God. Mm -hmm. For them, Religion was inherited. <laughs> For them, religion was inherited. But a personal relationship with God shall not be handed down from parent to children. Yeah, no. right. Everyone yeah. has to commit to it yeah. on his or her own. Yeah. Yeah. Don't rely on someone else's fear for your salvation. Yeah. Yeah. Have you made that personal decision to trust Christ? Amen. 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 As I said earlier, there's a big association between parenting with children yeah. and this succession. I'm going to read a little bit here for you. It is the solemn obligation of parents, and it can mean, you know, dealing with the Greek and all that, can mean fathers or father and mother to give their children the instruction and correction that belong to a Christian upbringing. Parents should be examples of Christian life. Not only to tell your children about being a uh, Christian, but they should be examples of and conduct caring more for the salvation of their children and conduct caring more for the salvation of their children than for their jobs, professions, ministry in the church or social standing that don't need any explanation according to paul's word in ephesians 6 4 and so on as well as god's instructions in passages and notes it is the responsibility of the parents to give their children the upbringing that prepares them for their lives pleasing to God. Amen. That is more than providing of the food and the shelter and the clothes. The family, not the church or church school, is primarily responsible. The family, not the church or church school, is primarily responsible for the biblical and spiritual training of the children. Uh -huh. This is why we talk about uh, having a uh, in your prayer, family, family, family prayer, prayer, family prayer and yeah. devotion. Yeah. But we don't have time for it, do we? Sure. Church and Sunday school only assist parental training. And it is the responsibility of fathers in particular, yes. in yes. particular. Mm -hmm. And many of us are ashamed of ourselves, if we have any shame left. Mm -hmm. That if a mother doesn't call the children and say, well, come on, let's pray. Yeah. Yeah. We are too busy. Yeah. That is infra day. <laughs> <laughs> the very heart of Christian nurture is this. The father's heart, the father's heart must be turned to the child's heart to bring the child's heart to the Savior's heart. If after this we still see foolishness in our churches, it means that we are deliberately doing the things that we are doing. You got notes on that, dude. 
In raising their children, the parents should show no favoritism. It is so easy to show favoritism. Because when one child seems to please you more than the other, you will have a tendency to want to favor that child. Encourage as well as correct. Some of us only like to correct. Encourage as well as correct. Punish only intentional wrongdoing. Some things are not done intentionally. Mistakes. Punish only intentional wrongdoing. Instruct with patience. Who? Oh, I ain't got time for that. I got too much to do. I have meetings. I have meetings. I, this is this is this is a waste of my time. This is this is a waste of my time. Go to your mother. Help me, Lord. And dedicate their lives in love to them with a heart of compassion. Some of us hearts are hearts of stone. Kindness. Humility. Gentleness. Oh my God. And patience. Some of us behave like if we were always perfect. Yeah. We only get a little salvation and get a little. Get, get, we now begin to see God and know. So, that's right. Yes. yes. Lord, yes. Have mercy. Yeah, where come from? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 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 Here are 15 steps that you as parents should take to lead your children to a life of godliness in Christ. Okay. And I wish I could have this printed out for everybody. I shouldn't have to do this because I was reminding the elder that. This is years I have been asking people to buy a proper study Bible. And so many have bought clothes. And the clothes can't fit us now. You buy clothes too expensive. Now why should I have to print this out? This is from the Bible. I'm not doing I'm not we using it from anything. It's from the study Bible. We can Google it. Dedicate your children to God. This is A, right? Dedicate your children to God at the beginning of their lives. Well, most people do that from a, tra a tradition. Yes. 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 Teach your children to fear the Lord and turn away from evil. No, 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 no. no. That, that, that is too much work. Teach your children to fear the Lord and turn away from evil. To love righteousness and to hate iniquity. Oh, this is work. Instill in them an awareness of God's attitude and judgment towards sin. Yes. We can't get away from this. No. Huh? And the further we get away from it, the more we get the pop, pop. Yes. Uh, the drive by pop, pop. All right. Teach your children to obey you as parents through biblical discipline. And biblical discipline is discipline which is based on the scripture. Amen. Mm -hmm. Protect your children from ungodly influences. By being aware of Satan's attempts to destroy them spiritually through attraction to the world or through immoral companions. Look. Look, 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 look. look. We won't get into this one. You ask the Lord to give you the congregation won't hear what you're saying. So I, I was, today when I went through this here, I went through it, I, I was at the table and I said, Lord, forgive me. And I repent because of when you read this and really understand what you're reading, as the high priest, as a leader, and the things that you would have done ignorantly. You are, I had to ask God to forgive me over and over, repent me for me. And this is nothing to do with nobody, this is me personally, me. Because now that you are getting a more 
consciousness and awareness in the spirit. No, that you get it older. And older too. <laughs> even that. Yes, Thank you too. Yes, even Lord. that also. Yes. That you are seeing it now too, from a spiritual perspective. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he just said it and I think. That is why we are having so much of holy words today. Yes. Yes. Because of God holds family very common. Yes. yes. Family structure. Very Amen. Common. We had a situation in this country, mm -hmm. in this country, where a dignitary in policing, guys, I didn't just put it that way, a dignitary in policing, a dignitary, hi, 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 had a son who gave the police more trouble than anybody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am not giving you all anything more than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the father had no time for the son. Mm -hmm. And the son, some of the things he did deliberately Attention. to get back Attention. at the father. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I don't know how we can do this one. Protect your children from ungodly influences by being aware of Satan's attempts to destroy them. Yeah. Spiritually true attraction to the world or true immoral companions. Look, you see this one here? There was a time that you could see your children with a magazine and take away the magazine and say, This is not good for you. This is for old wicked adults. Alright? Read between the lines. But now, I, I can make this very personal. I did some invigilation in my time. Okay? Where you would be making sure that the students did not uh, cheat or whatever. And that's not very many years ago. Just three, four, five years ago. And they couldn't even bring a uh, scientific calculator in the room. Yes. Uh -huh. I was there. I talking about it. I know. Mm -hmm. Not even a scientific calculator. Because it would have inserted formulae mm -hmm. that could facilitate the children in the exam. Mm -hmm. But today, <laughs> they are having legally a Powerful instrument in their hand. They, if they had a cell phone, it was supposed to be, and I got another witness here with me, put in the back of the room in their bag and turned off because if it rang during the exam, they could be penalized. Today, that has changed. That is why I said I don't know how we can do this because the children have. A piece of dynamite in their hand. And if they don't be careful, the hand will get blown off. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you miss it. <laughs> I'm very, very, very serious. Yeah. And when parents can't afford to give them, the school is now providing them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we wonder why certain things, but mm -hmm. all for development. Yeah. Immoral companions. Recently, someone fairly close to us is looking for some friends in the new environment. And when this one thought he found a friend, he discovered that that one was a worshiper of a warlike monger, a war monger, and would like to go to the areas where the war is going on now and help to destroy those who are being attacked. So right away, this one had to pull back from such a companion. Sometimes your children and ours have never been under the influence of any form of drugs or whatever. 
but then they get associated and affiliated with companions and get introduced to drugs and all so help us Lord but this is the this is the responsibility of parents and there's so many scriptures I only wish we could do all this make your children aware that God is always observing and evaluating what they do Think and say, and that think is not like a temptation. I always want to make it clear. Thoughts will come to you and I that are not very clean at all. But it is the acceptance of the thought that we are talking about here. So the thoughts that you encourage them, let me put it this way. God is always observing and evaluating what you do. The thoughts you encourage and the things you say. But I, am, I want to be friends with my children. I don't want to lose their friendship. You and I have to decide at one step, at some time or another, whether we can be a friend to our children or whether we can be a parent. Bring your children early in life to personal faith, repentance, and water baptism in Christ. This is a big responsibility. But I am a busy executive. I don't have time for that. I don't have time for that. No wonder why. I have to be careful what I say. No wonder why children are hiding and trying to Cut their wrists. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Don't look at me so. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And drink portions, and they have to be rushed to hospital mm -hmm. because they don't feel loved. Yes. Yeah. They don't feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, if one parent understands and tries to show the love and and, and, and encouragement, mm -hmm. then the, the, then the other parent gets mad with, the, with, with mm -hmm. that one and figure that. That one should take a more uh, aggressive. aggressive role. Yes. Look, this, this, this is a deep subject. Deep. Very, very. But look, Jesus. I'm sorry to say it so clear, but some of us are like big head idiots. No <laughs> joke. That's like big head idiots. We think we know and understand everything. And it is our way or the highway. Yes. Are you speaking from experience? You know? I speak it from experience. I went through some stuff. I went through some stuff that I don't even like to hear about it now. Me? I did that? But I am now a witness to the fact what Jesus Christ can do. Amen. Amen. So if you want to take that part and run with it, take it and run with it. And you can do all the things that I used to do and see how far you will get. So where you could do the things that I am trained by God's grace to do now yes. to rectify yes. that yes. I can't even say animal behavior mm. because the animal is behaving better than us now I got any witness to them here? Yes. Yes. the animal is behaving better than us now yes. 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 I don't know if you can put them on keys in that category anyway. <laughs> Make your children aware that God is always observing yes. and evaluating. Bring your children early in life to personal faith, repentance, and water back. Mm -hmm. Establish your children in a spiritual church where God's word is proclaimed. Hmm. His righteous standards honored. Uh -huh. And the Holy Spirit is manifested. Amen. Ah. Amen. Some of the adults don't even like to be around many, many Holy Spirit men. Yeah. Yeah. So, they look for any excuse mm -hmm. yeah. speak, speak. to be off the scene yeah. because the demons in us can't handle it. Yeah. But that's the truth. Yeah. The demons in us can't handle it yeah. when the Holy Spirit is manifesting. Yeah. And although I believe we understand it, we Still trying to solve it, or we can't solve it by ourselves. Teach them to follow the principle I am a companion of all them that fear thee. 
Oh Lord, this is so beautiful. Encourage your children to remain separated from the world and to witness and work for God. <laughs> yeah, you let them decide it. Teach them that they are strangers and pilgrims upon this earth. That their real home is. Uh, their real home and citizenship is where? Oh Lord, you help us. Instruct them in the importance of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. To me, that there should be. You know something? Let me let me do something here. Bear, bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. I don't want to forget this. Good. Good, I got it. Instruct them in the importance of the baptism in the Holy Spirit. To me, that is number one. That is paramount. Because if you don't get baptized with the Holy Spirit, you're going to have to go to a psychic. For real. Because you want to know. You'll be spiritually blind. You want to be able to see and know what decisions to make. And the Holy Spirit is a teacher and a counselor. Teach your children that God loves them and has a specific purpose for their life. Yes. My Lord, and look all the scriptures here. Huh? I said that in Teach your children that God loves them and has a specific purpose for their life. And look, when you miss your pur the purpose that you are here for, it is so sad. It is so sad. You hear what I say? Yeah. It is so sad. Yeah, yeah. You, you and I cannot be truly comfortable and peaceful mm -hmm. and joyful when we are not following the purpose that God gives. Oh, That's, yeah. right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I told you all about somebody whose uh, family, a family of a medical family, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he was obviously encouraged to follow the medical fraternity and he was successful he got because he's a bright, a bright individual he got through but when he left the office doing his medical work you could see the look on his face he's heading towards his love portion business love business Mm -hmm. So he would work through. I could imagine and go to God and sing with God. Yeah? But when you are fulfilling purpose, mm -hmm. it don't be like work. Mm -hmm. I got any witnesses in here? Yeah. 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 When you are doing the thing that you feel at one with it, yeah. the day will pass and you don't know the day pass. Mm -hmm. But when you are doing something that you are forced to do, you better have on a watch yeah. or have a clock. Yeah. Every minute you're looking at it and saying, yeah. A specific purpose for the life. I, I told you all already, and some people that were not on Zoom could hear that the pieces in the jigsaw puzzle, some pieces are identical in shape. But a jigsaw puzzle is normally a picture puzzle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it isn't every piece that has a particular shape that can fit anywhere. Mm -hmm. Because the picture would come up wrong. Yeah. So you've got to understand that everybody can be the same. Yeah. Everybody yeah. different. Yeah. I remember. I remember. I remember sleeping. And I used to like to sleep with one hand. Yeah. I, I, was, I was told, you can't sleep properly with one hand. But if I tried with both hands, 
How you playing that? You're higher up than me than every seat. So what are you doing over here? We are from a cricketing country. Don't, let me let me change the subject. We are from a cricketing country, and the coach will tell you the way to make that shot is this way or that way. Okay, but that individual has developed his own. I want to say his or her now. His or his or her own style for making that shot, and the shot can be as good as the shot that. The top coach has told them you shouldn't make it that way. Mm. Yes. Yeah. At least one person agrees. Yes. Mm -hmm. You try to make the shot uh, yeah. according to what the coach says, you get out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, teach your children that God loves them, has a specific purpose for their mm -hmm. lives. Instruct your children daily. <laughs> <We're better about laughs> instruct your children daily. It didn't even say weekly. Yeah. In the sacred scriptures, both in conversation and devotion. So when we think we have done a magnificent job in providing food and shelter, we ain't doing nothing yet. God holding us responsible. Mm -hmm. I said God holding us responsible. Because yeah. if I remember hmm, we were looking at lives and saying hmm, how, how do you put this? You can be a recognized medical specialist that never found the time to have a relationship. Mm -hmm. So obviously you have no children. And you live and you die. How successful were you? According to the medical field, you're successful. <laughs> but when you when the role is called up yonder, yeah. hmm? how many rewards and awards you can get? But God Himself said, be fruitful. Somebody can buy me off the air, you know. <laughs> to be fruitful and multiply. <laughs> and if we ever go the way the world going and continue that way, we will have problems. Because the population will be too small. <laughs> Are we complaining that the population is too small? We need family planning. And because of family planning, Lord have my Lord. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Oh Lord, both daily in conversation and devotion. Through example and exhort. <laughs> If you think you will get rid of that, God, you should alone, you fooling yourself. <laughs> Through example and exhortation, encourage your children to devote themselves to prayer. prayer. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a prayer, you ask. Mm -hmm. You expect the children. Mm -hmm. Prepare your children to suffer. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> <laughs> Prepare your children to suffer and endure persecution for the sake of righteousness. Not just to suffer and endure persecution, but for the sake of righteousness. They must know. Oh Lord, they, you know what? They must know. They must know. They must know. See the same? They must. They must know. All that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Sometimes I talk to myself and I say, Tony Graves, you can't preach one thing and expect another. 
you are going to be persecuted. You are going, you are going, you are trying to go upstream. Yes. The boulders, the old tops, the topsy. The basin, everything coming downstream. <laughs> you try to go upstream and expect. Lift your children up to God by constant and fervent. Constant and fervent. Not superficial. Mm -hmm. Fervor. Mm -hmm. You mean it. Have such love and concern for your children that you <laughs> have such love and concern for your children that you will be willing to pour out your life as if it were a sacrifice unto the Lord, in order to deepen their faith and make their lives what they should be in the world. Brethren, I don't have to go any further. You don't have to go looking. You don't have to go looking how you can do this. God don't give us instructions that we can't follow. And when Jesus came, there he said this. Two commandments that cover all. Thou shalt, you know them? Thou shalt love the Lord thy God. Only heart. Not with son. The soul. And the second he says, like it. Love your neighbor. And brethren, if you would look at those two, you would realize that they cover the whole. I am closing. Like my good friend often says, I am seeing the runway. I am seeing the runway. When you and I examine our lives, and we know that we have failed up until now, to do even a part of these things that we are supposed to have done, it is not too late. No, we absolutely. Amen. Amen. We still have an opportunity. Amen. Humble ourselves. Amen. True. Your children might think you're going soft. Mm -hmm. They might even say, "Daddy going soft." Daddy, Daddy going soft. Mm -hmm. Daddy going soft. But it's better for them I to think mind. that you don't saw huh? yeah. that for them to go there with the impression mm -hmm. that they saw you ever knew a daddy. Uh -huh. so the Lord have mercy upon us and yeah. help us to fulfill uh -huh. the God bless us with children and we should be so blessed that some of our children have never been uh, strung out on drugs and all these kind of things that we should, we should, we should really be, we should really be thanking God. We should really be thanking God. It isn't because, it isn't because we, uh, we had prayer meetings at home and all that. It's just God's mercy and His love. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And when I consider, and some of our children will probably watch this too. When I consider. Mm -hmm. That our children mm -hmm. are all adults in every sense of the word. Mm -hmm. And our youngest is how old now, what is it? 40 now? Mm -hmm. 40, more than 47, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. 47, 47, yeah. 47. And these children can still pick up the phone and ask daddy or mommy. Mm -hmm. And I got witnesses here. Yeah. Sometimes you can't get through with a conversation before you don't hear one of them. Mm -hmm. Daddy, what do you think about so and so and so and so? Mm -hmm. So if you think that a relationship with your child is a waste of time, mm -hmm. you're wasting your time. Uh -huh. yes. 
because our children, no matter how much academic education they may have, yeah. this we have passed through. Yeah. You know, people say yeah. We've passed through so many dangers, yeah. toils and snares. We have already come. We've passed so many things, yes. and some of our experiences can help them. Amen. At Amen. least to know Amen. what to shun. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. But if we are too proud, oh dear. and we don't want anybody to know how wicked we were, <laughs> oh, it's true. Yes. Yes. and are, not yeah. only were, and yeah. are, <laughs> then it would be sad for the children. Mm -hmm. So my prayer is that yeah. something has been said in succession that you and I would see there are others I have to be careful what I say whose great grandchildren that are not born yet have bank accounts yes 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 and some of us ain't got a bank account far less talking about children children and there are sacrifices that some of us have made, are making, and will have to make uh -huh. yes. to see our children's yes. children uh -huh. do well. Yeah. Are we willing to do it? Yes. Are we willing? Yes. Are we willing? Yes. Anybody willing? Yes. 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 You'll be willing and obedient. Yes. Yes. You're going to be learned, but if you refuse, yes. you'll be bad. Lord, may be sure of the mouth of the Lord. Yes. So, yes. so give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. That there are times yes. this thing can be a, this thing can you can you have to be careful not to be selfish. There are times that I am thinking, mm -hmm. but I don't say it, but like a thought will come forth, but God you won't see. <laughs> and you're hearing all these thoughts. Look around you, son, look around and see. Look around and see. Look around and see the sacrifices that people make to get certain things and because the children were not taught we never sat down and talked to them about what life is all about and what to avoid and this and that mm -hmm. children go and get into some bad yeah. situation mm -hmm. what happened happened already yes but what we do from now on is in God's yes. so God bless you and make sure Anyone want to be remembered in this closing prayer? Yes. 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 Heavenly Father, I thank you for not allowing me to sleep when you gave me these instructions and the hours I've spent trying to put them together. And now, Lord, the word is out. My prayer is that somebody will be so convicted by this word that they will alter their behavior and begin to have family worship, family prayer, to sit down and talk with their children and show them the goodness of God and the best way to live so that they will be. It is true. The law is for the lawless and the disobedient. Mm. And our children can be spared many of the situations that are planned for them if they would only follow the instructions according to the word and follow us as we follow you. So Lord, thank you for caring for us. Thank you Thank for providing for us. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to see our foolishness and that we have asked you and will ask you and are asking you tonight to forgive us for the many times that we have let you down, let our children down, and we are determined to be better. In the name of the Lord. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for speaking to our hearts. You are with your still small voice. If we would only listen, we would be 
able to move in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord. Give us the opportunity. Because the rain came and the rain left. That's right. That we could minister to you. Amen. So Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Wherever this word goes, I pray that somebody will be touched. Yes, I will see to it yes, that we have a serious responsibility. Yes, Lord, not only, not only to provide yes, food and shelter and all Amen. that, but to provide the necessary support for yes, our children yes, that they will be able to meet yes. in these trying times. Yes, For Father, to you be the glory, yes, 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 the honor, yes, and the praise. Yes, yes, yes. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Lord, bless thee and keep thee. Lord, Lord cause his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord, lift up the light of his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. peace. No one evermore. The people say, Amen. 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 For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armoroflightbarbados at gmail.com. Thank you, and may God bless you.